hello guys welcome to coding privacy and in this video we are going to look at how you can add the values in a drop down dynamically so let's get into that without wasting any time as you can see right on the screen i have the code from my previous video but i'll explain it to you very quick if you want to skip this part then just get to the other section so i have a drop down over here which is called option menu in tkinter i have a string variable created which is tied with the drop down which is basically the default value of the drop down then i have a list this list will contain all the values that you want in the drop down that is that then i had a button which had a command get value so whenever i click on that button what it does is i have added a label to i have added another label so this button on clicked it would show the whatever option that i selected on in the option menu right so it basically says submission is and then drop down variable dot get which is getting the value from that string variable from the drop down okay i have another uh, variable for label which basically gets set from uh, that text and then it shows up in the label so let me run the program quick and show you how that is looking at the moment so if i come over here uh if i click on get value you can see submission is no option selected because that is the basic default value of the string variable uh diff drop down where at the moment if i select on anything it directly shows up over here the reason is trace method that we have used which basically says anytime there's a right operation oops anytime there's a right operation on this variable then just run this method so this is something that we have seen in the previous video if you want to see it in more detail then just you can just go back to the previous one and check that out coming back to adding the dynamic values in the drop down how would i do that so first thing first let me add an entry widget tk dot entry very quickly say be in the root uh, window that's it i would be packing that for now and let me also have a label widget which basically would be in root and in the text it says enter value okay and let me pack that as well so i have a label widget i have an entry widget what we would plan to do is whatever you put in the entry widget that thing we want to add it in the drop down so as many things as you want you'll keep on putting things in the entry widget you'll hit the button and it would keep adding things to the drop down so that is the plan let's see how we can do that uh we had that we had this button which was getting the value we can reuse that same button but instead of uh, running it for get value let's create another one uh, another method which would basically say set value right so set value and here i would say uh, set value without parenthesis and set value okay so now the button is using used for set value how would i set the value it's pretty simple whatever you get from the entry first let's get that so value is equal to entry dot get right and let me also put this over here so that it doesn't say hey i didn't find the entry widget although i don't think it would but let's just keep the keep it like this so entry dot get this is the value that i want to add now the way to add it is there's a syntax to it. drop down uh, in the menu dictionary so this option menu basically creates a dictionary and in the menu key of it you have to run the method which is called add command the first parameter to it is label label is basically the value that you want to see in the drop down right so that would be the value right and then the second thing would be command and you would tie it with a method uh, you would just say drop down add command or something okay and i'll copy that i'll create that one quickly and what you what we want to do in that is we just want to set this drop down variable that we have 
we just want to set that with the new one so drop down dot set and value right so what we did we had the label is equal to the text that we want to see in the drop down right and then the command so what the command will do command will basically tie that tied with the function or you can use a lambda to it so if you use a lambda let me try using a lambda lambda and then option uh, value so i call value as an option and then say drop down variable dot set option okay cool so this is how you can do it so what this basically says i'll fetch the value and then i say i'll i'll say option to this value for this lambda and set the option in here okay so i can basically also say value and then well this makes it better okay so this is how you can basically not create another method and do it in single line so this thing is done i have added the command which means that i should be able to see the new value when a set value method is hit which would be hit by clicking on a button uh let's see that so right now you guys can see that we have a no submission yet i can click on and also we have january february and march over here there's a no option selected by default what if i say april okay and i say set value and you guys that is amazing so that's how you can add the values directly by getting it from the entry widget or from a function return or anything that you want to add it with but this is pretty straightforward now i click on april and i see submission is april which is what we did in the previous video tying it up with the label and then getting it when using the trace method basically right so now i say hey may and i set the value and it says may and i can keep on doing that there's no restriction to it and so even after you create a drop down there's no way to it you can add it afterwards using this specific line so this line is the most important part of this video which is what i wanted to show you and that's that guys if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to help you out and please like and subscribe if you want more from this series thank you and have a good one bye